it's the, um, you know, this, the wonderful protagonist, this young woman who's on her search to becoming the woman that she will be. You know, who will she be? It, um, can she find some, some joy, some happiness? She's just trying to, you know, assert herself. She's at that sort of turning point in life, you know. She's trying to be independent, yet she needs her family, yet she can't be bothered. <laughs> Um, and she she makes a friend in someone so unlikely, you know, from a different a different place. Looks nothing like her, bigger than her, more dangerous than her. Could squash her at any moment. But they they have a meeting, and 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 there is tender their relationship. So so cute and so humorous, so unexpected. Well, I play Shatter, and and I am a Decepticon, a, a not a triple threat, but a triple changer. <laughs> Start out as a robot, and then I can become, you know, a a, a, a Plymouth Red Plymouth satellite car. So looking pretty sleek, and pretty cool. I wouldn't mind having one of those myself. And then when the situation calls for it, the need for speed, you know, is is up. Then she turns into a, a fighter jet. I hope that'll be really exciting and and, um, and gratifying to him. I think that uh, it just it just umps the adrenaline factor, you know. Um, it's like oh, and what else? They might think she's a quadruple, <laughs> but no, no, no. We're gonna stop at three. But yeah, ups the adrenaline level. I just enjoyed having having that opportunity and glad that they. Uh, heard in me, not saw in me, but they heard in me what they saw in the character, what they wanted the character to look like and sound like, and that I could, you know, bring something to it. Hopefully, some some power because she is she is boss and she is bad. She is bold and unapologetic, um, and and yet she's pretty um, uh, she's pretty calm, cool, and collected about that thing about you know about the whole business of it. Um, so I, I enjoyed it tremendously, and when I got a, an opportunity to see it, because you know I'm in the booth, I'm all alone. But Travis was, you know, great because he could he really direct, <laughs> direct me. Uh, but seeing it for the first time, it really is brand new. It's a brand new experience, which is what you want when you go to the go to the theater. He was really pretty cool, super nice, super nice guy, super talented and very excited about, I mean, such a fan, <laughs> such a fan of Transformer, you know, of, of the Transformer. So, you know, you felt like he had, he had grown up seeing it, he had done his thing, you know, in the industry, and now he got to bring all of this to, you know, to a, a, a franchise that, that had such an imprint and an impact on him. So it was great working with him. Like it's the first time we were <laughs> across the country. I was in New York, he was singing at Seattle. But the, sec the next time I came in, the very next time that I was able to come in, he was in the room, you know, and that was, that was a thrill for me. Transformer fans, you know, you see how it all began. How it all began. So that that's kind of that's that's uh, that's amazing. But you're not gonna miss out. You're not gonna be lacking for any of the that big, uh, stunning, amazing, uh, eye popping, you know, action stuff that you've come to know and to expect. But also, you know, the character of B. You know, who's a standout, and you've come to just oh, just love and to adore from from him and from Charlie. We're gonna get that that emotional that emotional thing, that heart thing. You know, it's not gonna be not just we're gonna have the heat, the cold and the heat as well. This is before the Transformer. It's a it's a real nostalgic story. You know, it's a coming of age story. It's a uh, 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 meeting of the minds. She's a young woman. We've all come. We've all been seventeen at that crossroads and not quite sure, you know, what this big world is all about. But yet, we we know we know all that we need to know right now, you know. And yet we don't. We think of families too much. Um, they don't get us. We definitely don't get them. <laughs> Um, but uh, when you meet someone who sees you and who's got your back, you know, like B has, they, ha they have each other, they protect each other, and y you're gonna go the distance. So we can all, we can all relate to that. We can all relate to that, to having a, 
a true friend. And um, this movie shows you, you only need a couple. Hey there, here's today's Daily Fact. Now, Waterworld, the critically panned Kevin Costner action movie, couldn't manage to stick to a budget of 100 million, thanks to difficult sets and major demands allegedly made by both cast and crew. In fact, the set itself, built in the middle of the ocean, instead of on a soundstage, was so difficult that everyone involved had to jet ski to it. In the end, the movie cost a staggering 175 million to make. Hmm. Now, remember, click here below to subscribe or over here for more great content.